Ooh. Man, now, look at that. Looks like it's. Oh, there she goes. Two of one. One nine six. One nine. Point two of six. Someone call that roughly point two rems. Rems per hour. All right. So keep it on the pad here, because we know there's lots of people who don't believe that after. 19,000 tons of uranium has come out of Japan and we could possibly have fallout rain in Missouri. Yeah. Right, we should have done the alpha test first. There we go. Two sheets. Fold them back over. Flat. See what it gets up to again. Got up to point two last time. This is really surprising um, because just roughly an hour ago I took the same drive, came back, and the maximum radiation we had out of here was 0.05 so the truck was clean for me wiping it down and now I go back for a short drive maybe two and a half miles and now it's back So you can tell certainly some parts of the paper towel are hotter than other parts of the paper towel. Now I'm going to put this sheet of plastic across it to act as an alpha blocker and let's see what readings we get. Should have done on the sheet that was really hot before I unfolded it again. But we'll see. Right there for a second. That's that slick plastic that keeps on the run off. I can use a sheet of metal here. Okay, I've got a nasty sheet of metal here, which I hope doesn't scratch up my truck. I think this sheet is thick enough to stop the beta. So, whatever this is, it's a beta and gamma emitter. Unfortunately, without knowing what the substance is or the radionucleotide, I can't really use these ratios to, of alpha, beta versus gamma to 
to figure out things because of different sensitivities in the Geiger counter. Alright. Let's go back on top of it like that. And again, this should all be beta because the plastic's blocking it. Plastic out. So my guess this is all mostly beta and some gamma coming off here. All right, I'm gonna test the other side of the truck. Keep going. And we gotta get our food. Should I keep going? Uh, no, you can turn off for a moment. <laughs>